Joining us now is the Metropolitan Police Commissioner, Cressida Dick. Uh, Commissioner, thank you very much indeed for joining us. First question to you is this. Theresa May, when she was Home Secretary, reduced the number of police in this country by 20,000 and significantly reduced the number of armed police by over 1,000 as well. In light of these three terror attacks in the last few weeks, is it time to increase the numbers of police officers and armed police officers in this country? Can I start by paying tribute um, to Daniel and um, everybody who uh, has been affected by this horrible, horrible attack? Um, we've heard these amazing, appalling stories of um, ghastly attackers and um, enormous courage by police, uh, by the emergency services and by so many members of the public. Um, our hearts go out to all of them. And I think what you saw from the police uh, was a fantastic uh, response. And everybody is saying that within eight minutes to be able to uh, neutralize that threat, to uh, have those attackers killed, uh, to be able to respond in the way that we have subsequently um, shows that we have a great, uh, a great service and also shows uh, that we can set about um, uh, putting London back sort of into a, a normal way of life uh, really, really fast. You talked earlier about um, determination and not letting uh, the terrorists win. And I think um, we've shown that over the last 36, but, but 48 with, with, hours. But now, in with, terms of resources... Yeah, with, with respect, I, don't, I totally yeah. accept everything you're saying. Yeah. And there yeah. was some remarkable police mm. work that sure. saved many, many lives. Let's yes. put that to one side. This was reactive police work after an attack has been carried out. And so laudable though that is, and we all share that sense of it being laudable, yeah. what people want to know is this is three times yeah. now in six, seven weeks Absolutely. that innocent people have been killed and maimed by Islamist extremists. And there is a belief that we do not have enough police officers in this country and not enough armed police officers yeah. to deal with this should it happen outside of places like central London. Yes, well, Piers, I was going to come on to that. I mean, the three attacks are appalling. Um, we are facing a uh, very grave level of threat. That is quite clear. Uh, we need to look at uh, everything we're doing right across the counter-terrorist effort and, indeed, across policing. We will need, as we have done several times in the past, to um, change as the threat has changed. We've been very successful in many respects. In the last few weeks alone, we have foiled five attacks. Since 2013, we've foiled 18 attacks. But I understand people are worried, and they are asking questions, and one of those questions is, do we have sufficient police, uh, and do we have sufficient armed officers? And obviously, that's something that we need to look at uh, in you've the coming weeks. Absolutely. You've been in the job, com but Commissioner, you've been in the job no, not that long, but you know, yeah. we all remember Theresa May standing at the Police Federation in 2015 and reading them the riot act about mm. crying wolf, how less is more, et cetera, et cetera. And she was warned very specifically by a former community police officer who just left because he was so disgusted by what had happened, that the cuts that she'd been implementing were so savage that they were destroying community policing, which in turn was destroying the ability of people to get evidence on the ground through community policing, that this was uh, of, of affecting our ability to detect extremism and potential terrorists, and that it was a threat to national security. That warning could not have been clearer, and yet she dismissed it as crying wolf. And so, I, no, my question to you is, you've inherited one of the great police forces of the country. You are the top cop in the country. Surely, surely it cannot help the security of this country to slash police forces by 20,000 and to slash the armed police by over 1,000. How does that help us be safe against this kind of attack? So any leader is going, of course, to ask for more resources. I would love to have more resources. I absolutely would. And I will be working with the mayor and whoever is in government next to uh, seek, of course, more resources and more, uh, more people would be great. Not just police officers, but of course, you know, forensics officers, intelligence officers, many of whom aren't in fact police officers. Uh, they are um, police staff. 
Absolutely, we need to, to look at having more. We also need to look at how we are doing things with the agencies. Uh, we need to look at the, the overall strategy. We need to get communities to stand up and fight terrorism. Can I ask, Actually, sorry to interrupt, Chris, sorry. I just yes. wonder if I can ask, because Thank it's you. clear, it's clear that you are, would like more police officers. I mean, that, that's a fact, is it? You, have you been to the government and asked for more police officers? The Metropolitan Police has, over the last several years, taken £600 million out of its budget. The number of police officers has stayed reasonably static. It's gone down a, a little. What I am saying is, in the light of the, the attacks uh, over the last nine weeks and the changing threat that we clearly face, we must look to see whether we need more. And well, we, we will be reviewing that.